Back on the show, you know who he is. Ryan James is back on the program. He's going to be taking on Gerald Mershard at UFC Fight Night 105 in Halifax on February 19th. Ryan, what's going on? How are you? I'm great. Uh, not much. How about yourself? Uh, doing well. Thanks for asking. Uh, I got this uh, brace on here. I broke my collarbone over the holidays. So uh, if I'm, I'm, I didn't dress up like RoboCop just to interview you. I just, uh, uh-uh. just, just when I'm rocking. I know. Next time I'll, I'll get the full getup. Uh, oh, do know, it. I yeah, love it. We, we, we got to do it official there. But uh, you and I last spoke. I mean, we've spoken a bunch of times. Finally, you got to fight. Uh, you made your UFC debut at UFC Fight Night Albany. And you went out there and put on what I would consider a great performance. You know, you won fans over that night. It was a gritty fight. It was a stand-up fight. It was an entertaining fight. Um, how happy were you with your performance in that one? Because, like I said, I think you gained a lot of fans after that fight. Uh, it was it was a good performance by me. I think um, I think I showed that I'm not just a grappler, you know. And uh, yeah, I was just happy to actually get the fight into the cage and and put off a fun fight. That's was my main thing. Yeah, and, and I should mention, you, you, you did win the fight. I didn't uh, mention that in, in there, but uh, you got the nan- unanimous decision uh, victory in that one. Um, how did it feel to step back in the cage, um, especially because you had that, that bit of the layoff in between fights? Uh, good, good. I thought uh, I would kind of have a step miss because of you know ring rust and being off for so long. But honestly, I think because I've, I had pretty much six months of straight training, like a training camp, that... Because of the training, I was able to kind of get off the ring rust. If I just had like one little small training camp for that fight, I think it would have been a lot more difficult. But because it was so long, I was able to really improve and still not feel kind of that step behind. Right. Yeah, I completely agree with that. And, uh, you know, I mentioned it was a pretty fun fight. I think a lot of people were impressed with your durability. I mean, you took some shots and you kept coming forward. What was the response like after the fight? Because like I said, I'm sure uh, you gained some new fans after that one. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Anybody who see, sees my fights live uh, kind of have the same reaction of that of, holy crap, you can really take a punch. I was I, after, uh, after the fight night, we were back in the hotel, and there was some guy who was the corner of one of the other fighters, like, saw me from the corner of the side and came over and stopped and uh, was going off about what a great chin I have. Just, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of my thing. That and cardio, I mean, I can take a punch and I can go all night, so... That's cool. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, it must be flattering having, you know, people come up and, you know, compliment you like that, especially in the UFC, because, you know, it's some guys get in there and they, they, they just can't perform. And, you know, you got the win and that's, you know, sort of the most important thing. Uh, but let's talk about this fight, though. Uh, it must mean a lot to you because, you know, you're from the Maritimes originally. Uh, you're living on Vancouver Island now, but this will kind of be a hometown fight for you. Um, how excited are you to be competing in Halifax? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I can't. As soon as uh, after my fight in albany my uh mark pavlich my manager gave me a call and uh he was just basically saying congratulations and kind of wanted to have a quick and i was like i can't talk to you i'm kind of touring around new york right now but uh get me on the halifax card so then i got a call like a little later that month and he's like got some good news merry christmas sort of deal so uh yeah I, it means everything this is the closest thing it's, it's like the vancouver fight it's like this is the closest thing to where I grew up for me to fight. Like they'll never have a fight night in St. John's, you know, St. John's the population isn't there. I mean, I wish they would, but I don't think they will. And uh, so this is the best I can do. And I am, well, not the best, but I'm excited. Can't believe it. Like my family's actually going to get to come out and see me perform in the UFC. Yeah. So this is, this is a dream come true. Fantastic. Um, so you knew about this before Christmas then. So this must have been like a nice Christmas gift. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Did you know you were fighting Gerald at the time or they just or Mark just told you, hey, you're on the Halifax card? Uh, we signed the contract around, yeah, around Christmas time in December, January. Okay, excellent. Uh, now I mentioned off the top, you're taking on Gerald Merchardt, who also made his UFC debut on your card. Um, your fight was like early in the night. Did you get a chance to watch his fight or were you just so caught up in, you know, medicals and all that other stuff that you didn't have a chance? Uh, I was actually at the hospital, so I didn't oh, get to see gotcha. the fight. Well, I figured as much, yeah. It's, it was pretty, yeah, pretty... no, well, yeah. I cut myself yeah. on the cage. Oh, I didn't know that. How did that happen? The, on the cage. It oh, just okay. There's in the third round, I think, when I uh, tried to take him down, and I didn't. 
Or when I when I did the low blow when I got on with the groin shot and they separated us during oh, the uh, cage. Okay. cage yeah, there, I remember. They slipped and my face hit the hit the cage and I cut my eyebrow. And uh, so after that, they were sending everybody who needed uh, stitches to the hospital. They weren't doing it at the stadium. And I, so I got sent to the hospital. So I spent the rest of the night at the hospital just waiting to get stitched up. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but but I, I imagine you've seen his fight since, uh, you know, since it's taken place. What did you think? I mean, it was an impressive win over uh, Joe Gelati in that fight. It was it was pretty good. Like, yeah, like he's, he's a slick grappler. You know, he, he's... I think it, it, it's pretty clear that he doesn't really get uncomfortable to be in, in a bad situation because I think uh, the other guy took him down and he was just super relaxed, hit a really slick submission off uh, the guy's back. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it was pretty good. It was kind of impressive, but eh. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I, I like I like the I like the honest assessment in this. Um, as far as training camp, uh, you train at a great uh, camp at Azuma MMA. I assume the usual guys, uh, you know, Alexi and, and everyone else, sort of helping you get ready for this one. Oh yeah, Alexi, uh, Dustin Joyson, who just had a great knockout, highlight reel knockout, and uh, it was oh, a hard man. knocks. That was pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, I'm so proud of him. I love it. I mean, him train so much together over the years. He's one of like he's one of the best training partners we've like. We've really kind of grew as people together, sort of deal, and it was really awesome to see him. to kind of finally—he's had so many fights fall through, yeah, and he was so—he's been so crushed. Like, so it's good to finally that he's getting some recognition. I think I've said to you, I think he's one of the better heavyweights and like the best heavyweight in Canada. You know that no one knows who he is. So I'm, I'm glad he's finally—he uh, finally showed kind of kind of got a little nice little highlight. So now he can get more fights. Yeah, and, and certainly being with Hard Knocks, uh, you know, great organization for helping uh, groom, uh, you know, the next stars of, of Canadian MMA, uh, like Alexi as well, who's uh, under that banner uh, too. Um, have you figured out who's going to be in your corner for this fight? It's, uh, you know, a couple of weeks out, but I imagine you sort of have figured that out. Yeah, yeah, it'll be Adam and Sarah Kaufman. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah, Alexi, who was in my corner in Albany, he has a fight coming up in March, I think. I'm That's not right. really sure. Yeah. Yeah, so he's just, he's one of those guys, he just likes to be ready, so he didn't really want to come out. Yeah, I which I totally respect. I get that. How's the weight cut going? Uh, getting oh. down to eighty-five. Oh, easy peasy. Yeah, I was going to say never, never, never a problem. Yeah, that, that's what's kind of interesting about this fight. Uh, Gerald as well. You know, he's not a, a huge uh, eighty-fiver. Uh, he doesn't cut much weight either. And you know, with your styles, both you guys like to come forward and fight. Like this has potential to be fight of the night. I don't know if you've kind of looked at some of his fights, but this really does have the potential to kind of steal the show. Yeah, he's a he's a tough dude, and so am I. I think. Uh, I think me and him have similar mentalities coming in. And I hope we get the bonus. I mean, I'm sure he does too. Yeah, and, and one thing about him, you know, he's, he's really tough to finish. As you sort of visualize this fight, how do you sort of see it unfolding? Um, I, I see it kind of... It, I think it, the first round is going to be mostly on the feet. And, uh, and then I see the second round, it, me finishing him on the ground, personally. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Um, have you sort of looked ahead for the rest of 2017? I mean, you, you you know you got the one fight last year, but I imagine you want to get a couple more fights in this year after this one, assuming all goes well. Well, yeah, as long as I'm not hurt, I would like to get back in there as soon as possible. I know they're talking about trying to get into Edmonton. Yes, in the summer. So, that's the rumor or the fall. That's right. Yeah. If 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 that's going through, I'd love to fight in Edmonton. You know, uh, but. If if that's not the case, then it's you know let's keep this train going. You know I've had three training camps. I'm used to it. I'm in a good flow. Give me a week off and let me get back into it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you brought up that uh, rumored Edmonton card because uh, someone that uh, just signed with your management company is a good friend of yours, Miles Anstead. Um, he's a guy I've been talking about that I think is probably very close to making that jump to the UFC. Um, would that be sort of a perfect situation? You both uh, as middleweights in the UFC fighting on that Edmonton card. Yeah, it'd be cool. I mean, for him, that that's right now. That's his backyard. You know, that'd be like his perfect uh, UFC debut. Yeah, and, and it seems like that's the way the UFC is going as far as signing fighters. They like to grab guys that are kind of local. If you know, they're looking to sort of build a card or, or bring someone in, and it's just an easy easy get, right? Sort of seems that. Yeah, way. they also do it. You know, it seems like they also do it if they need like a a, a, a replacement fighter. They'll just quickly grab someone local. You know. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, before I let you go here, um, I always ask the most important question to all these fighters, and that is, uh, what are you watching on Netflix right now? Uh, if I was to log under your account and look under continue watching, what would it say? 
Oh God! I on the watch spot here, I see, this is, that's no fair too because my my girlfriend Reina watches a lot of shitty horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want you to judge you there. Okay, fair but enough. Fair a enough. lot of like British crime drama, a lot of stand up comics. Oh, okay, uh, okay, oh, perfect. You're speaking my language now. What what a stand up comedy you've been watching recently? Uh well, I know Bill Burr's new one is out. I haven't seen it. I hear great I things. Seen it out. I, I'm going to probably watch it this weekend. Uh, so yes. that, that's good. Have you seen? Uh, you know what one I really liked? Uh, it's it's not it's kind of old, but uh, have you seen Ali Wong's uh, Cobra? I did. Baby Cobra. Yeah, Baby is Cobra. One, was, oh, that was, was so best. good. Yeah, so good. Yeah. I'm going to see actually the weekend after my fight. I'm going to Vancouver to watch Tom Segura live. Oh, nice, awesome! Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Good stuff. Well, uh, we're certainly excited for your fight, uh, UFC Halifax. Uh, I'm so happy, Ryan, you get to fight uh, in the Maritimes. I can tell how much this means to you, and I certainly think uh, we're all gonna, you know, look forward to seeing that big smile on your face when you walk up to the cage. But I got to thank you for joining me here yet again on the program. Uh, where can people find you on social media? If you got any thank yous and shout outs and anything like that, the floor is yours. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so Twitter is uh, Ryan James MMA. And I'd like to thank always everyone at uh, Zuma Martial Arts, Adam Zuchek, Sarah Kaufman, Alexia Jeryu, Dustin Joyson, uh, Adam Braywood, who's got a boxing match coming up. Right? And uh, and my manager, Mark Powell, 